So, if you're a gamer, and you're probably tuned into your fa your fair share of gaming live streams, right? Maybe you even consider growing your channel, hosting a gaming live stream of your own, though broadcasting from a camera and your console at the same time may seem complicated, right? But the setup is something anybody can do, even you guys. You feel me? So, if that interests you, stay tuned. Let's get All right, you guys, so today I'm coming straight off of my notes today, but I wanted to get at you guys today, man, especially if you're a gamer. So uh, I've been doing a lot of research and stuff like that on, on different type of gaming of uh, different type of gaming streaming and live feeds for gaming and things like that to make you guys money so if you're interested in anything like that if you're trying to live stream if you're trying to be a gamer anything like that then you probably gonna want to pay attention to this whole clip you guys because today I'm gonna uh, teach creators how to uh, do YouTube while gaming live stream and earn the revenue for it, you guys so like I said, if you're interested in anything like that, right, you must stay tuned, you feel me? A lot of questions I've been getting lately is uh, how to do a gaming live stream on YouTube, right? So, I want to start off by answering that. And I'm going to give you guys fun facts, you feel me? Because y'all know what time it is, man. It's learning, but it's fun, right? So, make sure you enable YouTube live on your channel, right? And, uh, before you start, right, make sure your channel is verified, too. This simple process only requires you to enter a code that is sent to your phone, okay? Once your channel is verified, you can go live directly from YouTube. So, like I've been telling you guys, you know, create that YouTube channel. Make sure you create an email. Make sure you create, like, an email that's going to be, like, towards your gaming, like something that is easily to find, uh, whatever your gaming channel is, maybe name it right after that, uh, make sure to check the availability though, because a lot of times, you know, you might want a certain uh, email or a certain YouTube channel name, and it might be taken, so, you know, do your research on that type of stuff, but yeah, basically, man, make sure that your, your live stream is enabled. So that you're able to go live off of YouTube. You feel me? And, you know, it's a lot of Twitch accounts and stuff like that and things like that of that nature. But it's also YouTube. YouTube, YouTube also provides the same uh, exact feature to go live on, to live stream, right? Okay. So next, go on your YouTube gaming page, right? Scroll the top game to see what viewers are interested in. So, like... Go, 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 go to YouTube, right? Log into YouTube. See what's getting a lot of views. See what's popping. See what's the best game out, the newest game. Out. And then you probably would want to go into that game and try to start, you know, streaming from there. And then you will start building up a reputation if you're any good at it or a blase split, right? Or the third, right? So, like, if you scroll down and you type in gaming and all that, you go on your gaming page, you can see the top game gaming streamers. You can see all the people that, you know, at the top, you feel me? So, you can kind of either base your story around theirs or come up with your own story, right? So, all right, you want to research specific instructions to link your council to the YouTube game, right? So these are going to be basic instructions that probably came with your system or something that you can either YouTube or Google and uh, look up how how to, right? So I'll leave a couple of descriptions down below if you guys are interested, right? So research specific instructions to link your console to YouTube gaming. Depending on your device, right, how you connect to YouTube Live will vary. 
The Verge put together a great list of specific instructions for different councils, which you can find, right, in the description below. I'll have some type of guide up to where you guys can click on to find your system, Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, whatever you guys got, right? Okay. You can also find YouTube tutorials that show you exactly what to do. Search the name of your console along with how to stream on YouTube. So it's not hard, you guys. Like I said, man, YouTube is a powerful search engine, a powerful tool, or either Google. So you guys can search up your your console, right? So don't be like, oh, man, I'm feeling this, this discouraged already because, okay, if you got an Xbox, boom. Okay, I'm going to type in Xbox. I'm going to type in how to live stream on Xbox. You see what I'm saying? So it's something very simple that it just takes a little time to figure out and a little time to, to do as well. So, like I said, you know, find a tutorial that works for you and then Google that. And then that's how you can, you know, go from there. Now, this is where the tricky part is because this can be expensive and then it can be not expensive, right? So what we want you to do is collect any additional accessories you need, right? So by that being said, you know, certain stuff might come with, you know, different things. Uh, you might need a webcam. You might need this. You might need that. But at the end of the day, your initial setup could be just your phone, maybe an iPhone or a 1080p camera, right? And you can kind of set that up to where it's only capturing a certain amount of the TV to where it won't look crazy or fringed or anything like that but it'll kind of look clear if you don't have like you know the necessities of like screen recording or something like that but i know like ps4 because i'm a ps4 holder you guys um they actually do 15 minute clips right and what you can do is you can um take the ps4 right and then on the oh man i should go grab one of my controllers right but you should hit the share button twice you should double tap on the share button and then I think that will start recording, right? And it'll record for 15 minutes. And then after the 15 minutes and stuff, it will go into your your hard drive. Now, it'll be that one clip, right? And what you have to do is kind of like, maybe like share it to Facebook or share it to some type of website that does shareable, that can show shareable content, Twitter, via Twitter or something like that. And what you would do is once you share it to there, and this is free game, you guys, because I love y'all, right? Uh, what you do is you share it to there. And then you can screen record it, you guys. So what you will do is you will screen record um, your foot, your actual footage, and uh, and then you can do whatever with it. You can upload it to YouTube. You can do you can voice over it. You can do multiple different types of things at that point if you're not able to just live stream it like it, like right off the bat. You hear me? But but I'm about to get into some successful ways, right? For some consoles, such as PlayStation 4, you need to buy specific camera accessories if you want to add a face reaction camera to your stream. However, unless your viewers are used to seeing a reaction cam in your videos, then you may be able to get away with simply using a microphone, you guys. So like I said, you feel me? Just off your mic, voiceovers. You might not want to pop out yet. You might can do something like... Uh, at 10k subscribers, I'll show my face. I'll show you who's behind this character. You get where I'm coming from, you guys? Build the hype up around your channel. Always. So, if you're streaming from a mobile device, download on YouTube gaming app. Period. So, it's already considered for you guys. Instead of just like downloading on YouTube and maybe flatline for YouTube, you probably want to go to YouTube gaming. So, it's already just like broke down and set up for you guys. It's easy, simple. And fast, you feel me? So, we got to get into promoting, you guys, right? So, now, promote, promote, promotion. Self-investment is the best investment, you guys. So, look, promote your streams on your social media before it even starts. So, like, before you start streaming or even before you start making your channel, just start putting stuff up on Instagram. See if you can build a fan base. See if you can build something natural. See if you can build something, you know, with with, with the following there first. And say, hey, you know, what What if I start live streaming, you guys? Try to get, you know, feedback. Try to get content from your viewers, too, as well. Let them comment on what they want to see and what they want to see next. They want to see 50 kills on Fortnite or 
They want to see new V skins, you know what I'm saying? Or V bucks, I'm sorry about that. But they want to see V buck tutorials. Or they want to see uh, uh, how do you get your skins and stuff like that. Do stuff that'll keep them interacting with your page. You feel me? That's always key and that's always a goal in this type of work or type of environment because that's what you're doing. You're a content creator. You're creating content for people to, you know, either follow in your footsteps, influenced by it, be influenced by it, or, you know, whatever the case is, right? So I'm about to get into something simple right here, you guys. Promote your streams on social media before it starts. So before you go live, right, let your audience know when you'll be streaming and what games you'll be playing using Twitter, your Instagram story, and your YouTube and your Twitch community page to reach more fans more quickly. So, uh, I want to give you guys like a prime example, and then I'll give you somebody very popular, right? Somebody I actually know, right? Uh, you know, the comedian and gamer Dean Dobbs often tweets about the gaming streams he does with his friends all via Twitter, right? So, like, before he get on Twitter and stuff like that, that's probably what he does. He probably go on Twitter. He, he let everybody know. He let everybody, all his fans, his friends, everybody that plays with him, whatever the case is, he let them know what's going on. You feel me? And that's kind of his niche because, obviously, he's funny. Um, obviously, he's good at the game. You feel me? And that's what he does. Maybe taunt to get the hype for him. Hey, man, I bet you this. I bet you I dropped 50 points on him. On NBA Live, uh, anybody want a one on one? Meet me in the yard. Da da da. Blase split. Let's go GTA. Uh, come on, y'all. Let's go meet. Let's race. Let's go do this. You know, get something interesting, pumped up that can kind of keep the fans going and kind of make them want to, you know, watch your series. Because out of a million people in the world, why would they want to watch your series? Because you have to build a bond and a relationship with your YouTube community, right? So, and then I don't want to hold you guys too long. So last. But not least, right? Download and edit the finished stream to upload to your YouTube channel. And then I kind of gave away a little bit of free game on how you can do that, you guys. And that won't take you through that much of a hassle because I like using an iPhone because simply I have Apple everything. And it's so much easier to like airdrop something than to um, download it and do this and do that. But I do also, and I will not lead you guys wrong, I do use Adobe. And that's because. I use Adobe Premiere because it's, it's the way I edit my things, it's the way I render my things, it's to make sure that every video that I put out is locked and it's in its minds, you know? So therefore, like, if somebody tried to, like, take any of my work or anything like that, either they can pay me for my revenue streaming or, you know, I can block it if I don't want, if I feel like, you know, they trying to take off a buzz for me or whatever the case. But sometimes, more than likely, you guys, don't be too uppity because any promotion is good. Free promotion is good, you guys. And, and sometimes, you know, you might be helping somebody out that, that really needs it, you know. So, um, I wouldn't be such a buzz kill on that because at the end of the day, you know, creating a buzz around your name is just something ultimate that you want. You want people to look up to you. You want people to mimic you. You want haters, you guys. You want all that type of stuff because at the end of the day, what's popping without a hater, right? Or what's popping without somebody trying to be like you or mimicking you? Then what is the point? It's just like fashion. If some Gucci come out, hey, a lower person or a lower marketer that's like, hey, this is the same thing, the same exact, whatever the case. It looks just like a replica. Why not knock it off and sell it for cheaper and make money into my pocket, which I really need it. Gucci don't really need it, right? Or whatever the case is, right? Make sure you know, you get the job done. No matter how you get it done, just get it done. Try it out. And then if you fail, pick back up and try it again. So after you finish your stream, download the recording. Edit a condensed version to upload to your channel for viewers who missed it, right? BuzzFeed. Multiplayer uploads condensed version of Twitch streams to YouTube so viewers do not miss out. If you're into video games, doing a live stream can help you reach a ton of new viewers. Choose a popular game and go live, you guys. Let's get it. So, remember I was telling you guys, like, oh, man, 
you know, if you're starting a YouTube channel up, if the video game gets in the way and blah, this, be, you know, put it to the side. But hey, not necessarily. If that's what you love doing, you guys, start streaming, start earning revenue, and get paid now, today. Like, just start it now, you know? And maybe you could teach a class so somebody can get as good as you, right? So, like I said, man, you already know, if you want to be here for, like, trying to grow an online business, trying to do online type of things, activities, and trying to get compensated and learn about how to make money online, you know, smash that like button for more great videos. Like, share, please subscribe. Please, if I can get two subscribers off this video, that would be awesome. If I can get, like, five likes, that would be awesome, you guys. And if I can get 20 views, I mean, that would be a reach to my goal, you feel me? So, like I said, y'all, grind harder, work smarter, and, uh, you know, let's try to get financially free. Let's try to get financially stable. Let's try to move forward this year. It's 2019. I want to see big businesses, man. Big businesses. That's all I have envisioned. I'm tired of poverty living. You feel me? So, like I said, man, y'all like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave me some comments down there. And let me see what you want to get, what you want next, you know? All the gamers been on my head, so, man. I'm going to have to switch my influence up if y'all ain't giving me no feedback, you know? Uh, remember, uh, 10K subscribers, we're doing a Xbox and a PS4 giveaway. Uh, we're also going to do uh, V-Bucks. We're going to do skins. And um, we'll let you guys decide on what's next, man. So peace out, FNS Gang Squad. I love y'all guys. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it pumping. Let's keep it motivated. You feel me? On Monday, let's get it, squad.